at the moment, there's no singular cure to the COVID-19 virus, and medical specialists can only treat its symptoms. While developing a vaccine is the end goal, that isn't to say recoveries haven't happened. A good measure of people have recovered with usual antibiotics and plasmid treatments. From potential vaccines to antibody treatments, plenty of reassuring work is underway already. Our next report tells you more. The coronavirus pandemic has sent health authorities and governments worldwide in a scramble to flatten the curve in hopes of mitigating extensive transmission in the community. All this while scientists and researchers can focus their attention to better understand and eventually eradicate the SARS-CoV-2, the strain of coronavirus causing COVID-19. And interestingly, it's not just pharmaceutical companies coming up with potential remedies. Big tobacco firms too seem to have joined the effort. The UK-headquartered British American Tobacco Group says that it could manufacture up to 3 million doses of its prototype vaccine once its US-based biotech business Kentucky Bioprocessing gets through clinical testing. British American Tobacco said that it, can clo it had cloned a portion of the virus's genetic sequence and developed a potential COVID-19 antigen, a protein that induces the production of antibodies and enables the body's immune system to prevent infection. Philip Morris, on the other hand, through its partially owned Canadian unit, Medicago, expects to start human trials of a potential vaccine this summer. Philip Morris's Medicago has used a virus-like particle grown in a close relative of the tobacco plant. Based, Plant-based vaccines mimic viruses and allow the body's immune system to recognize them and create an immune response without being able to infect or replicate. Meanwhile, U.S. researchers at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine have announced a potential coronavirus vaccine, a breakthrough achievement. It doesn't require refrigeration and is more easily mass-produced than other vaccines. The patch has about 400 microneedles made of sugar and the same protein the virus uses to latch on to the ACE2 enzyme. Once applied like a Band-Aid, it simply dissolves into the skin. It's called Pitcovac and has been tested successfully so far on mice. And scientists at the Kaser Permente Washington Research Institute in Seattle have begun a first-stage study of a potential COVID-19 vaccine developed on March 18th. Researchers in Belgium, too, have also announced a potential breakthrough using llama antibodies. By isolating two llama antibodies that bind the spike proteins that coronaviruses use to enter cells. One antibody neutralized the coronavirus responsible for Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, while the second mopped up the severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus. Fusing the SARS antibody from a llama with an antibody from a human yielded a hybrid which neutralized the virus responsible for COVID-19. A team of Ch Chinese scientists also managed to isolate several antibodies that they say are extremely effective at blocking the ability of the new coronavirus to enter cells. Among the first 20 or so antibodies tested, four were able to block viral entry, and of those, two were exceedingly good at doing so. The team is now focused on identifying the most powerful antibodies and possibly combining them to mitigate the risk of the new coronavirus mutating. Meanwhile, in Canada, a team headed by University of British Columbia researchers say they found a drug which, in trials on cell cultures and human organ replicas grown from stem cells, was able to reduce the virus's load by a factor of 1,000 to 5,000. The drug, APNO1, essentially catches the virus and washes it away. European biotech company Apiron Biologics is about to start clinical trials on the drug on 200 infected patients in Australia, Denmark and Germany. According to the company, APNO1 has already been shown to be safe and well tolerated in a total of 89 healthy volunteers and patients with pulmonary arterial hypertension. De developing new vaccines takes time and they must be rigorously tested and confirmed safe via clinical trials before they can be routinely used in humans. Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases in the U.S., has frequently stated that a vaccine is at least a year to 18 months away as of now. Experts agree that there are there's quite a few ways to go yet for a vaccine to come in sight.